So we're going to do a quick video right here just kind of showing you um, how to test the pH of your water ionizer. So we're going to get a, just three different samples to show you different pH levels that kind of the machine can produce and just testing it. So we've got it on our most acidic setting right here. It's going to be our uh, household cleaning setting. Um, you can actually get even more acidic water if you put the machine on the cooking setting and get it from that residual spout. But just for this demo here, we're just going to show you uh, you know that particular setting right there. Uh, we have also our drinking setting right here, which is going to be uh, right around eight and a half, nine, nine pH in that range. And then our cooking setting as well, our uh, you know eleven pH setting. So you see that you need like a little bit of time in between the settings to just kind of let the machine flush out the previous one, but not too much at all. Uh, and so once you kind of finish up filling up those glasses. Um, you can just get the pH testing drops. Uh, since we have a little bit more water here, we're going to do three drops in each one. Most of the time, you can just do two drops in about you know a shot glass worth of water, no problem. And so we see that the yellow, very acidic, and then we have our like dark blue, perfect for that drinking level water, and then our purple, which is going to be our high pH cooking water. So pretty simple to do. Use that pH reagent drops, and uh, that's all you'll need.